This is Sienna Hills and you're watching Concrete Music TV. today. How are you, baby? Good. How did you get into this business? I actually sent my pictures into Score Magazine, Voluptuous Magazine XL Girls, and two weeks later, I was in Miami doing my first hardcore boy-girl scene. Love it. <laughs> Here's a scientific question. You're a little different from everybody I've seen. How do the producers take you seriously? Seriously, because when I'm on the set, it's all about business. I'm about making my money and making sure everything's done proper. Um, that's just how you're supposed to be. It's a job. This is a career. This is a choice. This is, you know, we have a lot of fun, but it's still a business. This is, we out here to make our money. So they've always taken me serious because I am serious when it comes to business. And how long have you been in this business? I've been in it. October actually marks my four years now. Congratulations. Thank you. And what is it that you like about this job? everything about my job. <laughs> what is there not to like about it? I get to fuck, I get to be beautiful, I can eat as much as I want because I'm on the, the plus size of the industry. I mean, it's it's great. I mean, dressing up, getting sexy all the time. What's not better than that? <laughs> now, let's talk about feelings. You're having sex on camera and you're making these noises. Are the orgasms real or you're faking it to hype the no. My orgasms are real on film. So you can tell by my reactions, you can tell by the way I talk, the way my, I guess my whining, my crying, my screams, whatever you want to call it. I get told that I sound so beautiful on film, they can always tell it's me. And they can tell that it's real. And that's the reason why, because they are real. There's no faking. The only time I act is if they want me to do an intro where you're like, okay, like my husband. Dialogue. Yeah, the cheesy dialogues are the one, only time I have to act, which you can tell I'm horrible at probably. But the rest of it, no problem. <laughs> What's your favorite position? All of them. There's not a position I don't like. Now, the hardest position is reverse cowgirl, but I don't hate it. I still love it, but it's just the hardest. <laughs> Spit or swallow? I, that's a tricky question. Only swallow if I'm in a relationship with a guy. The, that's the only person I'll swallow is cum. Now on film, they prefer you not to swallow because they want the, the cum all which is perfect. So on film, I don't swallow. Personal life, I do. <laughs> and how does your sexual life differ from on film? My sex life in personal? I, I'd say it's a lot freakier. I haven't quite done everything in the porn industry yet. I'm just now starting to get into threesomes, doing girl girls. I haven't got to the anal yet. I haven't got to the dom stuff yet. Um, I'm into all that in my personal life. I do everything. I do anal, threesomes, foursomes, swinging. Um, I mean, you pretty much name it. I do it in my personal life. Dom, subs, everything. Wow. Yes. So there's a lot to come yet from Sienna Hills. Y'all just need to wait and see. So for a plus size, you're just a freaking confident with it. Exactly. That's it exactly. Very freaky, very confident. Do you love black guys? <laughs> That's my specialty. <laughs> Let's talk about the first time you encountered a black guy. What was your reaction? What do you mean? First time I encountered one is probably when I popped down on my mama. I mean, but you know. <laughs> the doctor could have been black. I don't know. But now, like, the first time I dated a black gentleman, I was about my 20s. But I'd always, you know, I had a lot of friends that are black. I grew up in the ghettos in Little Rock, down off Barrow and stuff. Ace day, baby. Got to know who you're from. But dating black guys, I started in my 20s. And since then, I haven't looked back. I love it. I finally found my preference and what I really love and enjoy. Well, we are very excited. Yes. <laughs> we are all very excited. <laughs> My measurements actually, I believe, I can't remember, it's been like, I think it's 62. Stop, 62? Yeah, because I'm a 34 double J. Now, the double J is the part of the boobies. But when you measure fully around without the brawn, I'm around, I think it's close to 60, 62 inches around. I'm 33 in my waist, and then I'm 46 around my ass. So that's not too bad. Yeah, but that's just inches around. But I'm a 34 double J. You gotta get that straight. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, wow. I can just snuggle between these. 
You could snuggle between them and you'd lose your cock in between them. Oh, you like that too? Oh, I love to be titty. I got big titties. I love to be titty fucked. I mean, come on. That's just like a waste if you don't. <laughs> I mean, can you just imagine your nice hard chocolate cock in there? Being squished and rubbed and loved on by these big ass titties. And if you're very blessed, I can give you a nice blowjob while I titty fuck you. Yes. <laughs> one of my specialties. Actually, I'm known as the great blowjob queen in the industry. I give really nasty, great blowjobs. Nice, slobbery, wet blowjobs. You know, licking the balls, sucking the balls, all over the cock, up and down. Yeah. I play with it all. Play with your ass. Whatever you want, boo. Wow. You like to play with guys' asses? I, not all guys' asses. Only certain ones. Not everybody's that special. <laughs> yeah, something, I understand your freak, but some things is reserved for special people. Exactly. You have to draw a line somewhere. You have to know where to draw the line in the industry between personal and business. You do have to know that. And how fans can reach out to you? Your fans, hey, my fans can reach me at SiennaHillsXXX.com, SiennaHills at YMail.com, and of course you can find me on my SiennaHillsXXXBlogspot.com. very important to me. If it wasn't for my fans, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be able to have this great career that I have and this life that I've chosen. Because without fans, these type of industries are nothing. That's for sure. So I love all my fans. Mwah! Love you all. I think I have already. I'm trying to date. I just don't think they really meant it until afterwards. <laughs> But yeah, I probably would fuck a few of my fans. It just depends on the personality more than anything. So like I said, once because of my personal life, I go for more of who the person is and where they're at in life and what they're doing compared to if they're sexy and got a big cock. There's more to it than that in my personal. <laughs> well, Sienna Hills, much continued success. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Love you. Mwah.